We are a step closer to space tourism tonight after a successful test of Spaceship Two this morning. And 23 ABC's Chris Arnellis is here now with more on today's flight in Mojave. Chris? Well, Spaceship Two didn't quite make it into space today, but it wasn't supposed to. Today was for testing its rocket engine, and scientists say it worked perfectly. Before dawn, Virgin Galactic Spaceship Two sat ready for its historic flight. Today's test drew about a thousand spectators from the area. Some have direct connections to the project. My husband uh, has been working on this for for nine years, and we're here to uh, support his efforts. Others are just excited to see the next step in manned space flight. I didn't sleep last night because I kept thinking about Mark, who's flying spaceship too. Uh, this is exciting, and you see these young people that design these spacecraft and then fly them. It is really exciting. Even BC engineering students came out to take a look. We decided that it would be a really great opportunity for us to get some exposure into, you know, um, aerospace engineering. The ship, which will eventually carry paying passengers to space, was flown to 46,000 feet before being dropped. Shortly after, it fired its rocket and soared to 55,000 feet. Couldn't have gone more smoothly. Um, the, uh, we just talked to the pilots. They actually were thinking of just saying, you know, screw everybody, we're going into space. <laughs> but, uh, but, um, but anyway, they didn't. And uh, they, they, they just said it was just the, the, the best flight they could have possibly had as a first test flight. The rocket fired for only 16 seconds. But in that time, the ship broke the sound barrier, going about 761 miles an hour. Branson and his experts say today was the biggest remaining hurdle they had to clear before they start taking paying passengers into space. Now that they know the rocket works, they will do a series of test flights, each a little higher than the last, until they reach space later this year. Today we realize that you know, commercial spaceship with people being able to go into space is, is a reality. Um, and of course, you know, in the last seven years, until you actually get to today, you can never be 100% sure. I think today we can be 100% sure that, um, that um, uh, people, in the, people are watching out there today uh, will go to space. Now, 500 people have already put down a deposit or paid the $200,000 price for a chance to go into space. In studio, Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC.